guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build a magnetic compass. As I was building my mini exa, I need to have a compass to figure out which side is the magnetic north. I tried to buy one, I can't find it here. Uh, buying one online will online will take me like one month to be here, so I decided to build one as I learned back in the days when I was a kid at school and uh, so what what you're gonna need is a piece of foam an old coca-cola can see it says coke okay a ruler <coughs> a barbecue skewer <laughs> and camera is almost with running out of bat. Always the same thing. A pair of scissors, a pen, and one of these. I don't know how you name it in English. In Portuguese we say transferidor. That's one of those things that shows you the degrees all around. I'm not. I don't know how you call these in English. Doesn't matter. So that's basically the material you need and a magnet. In my case, I don't have a magnet. I'm gonna use my magnetizer. But any magnet, magnet you have around from an old speaker, something like that, will do the same job. So, let me just change the battery on the camera and I'm going to show you how to build one of these. Okay, so, fresh battery in the camera, let's start. First thing I did was, I picked up the can, the Coca-Cola can, and I cut a stripe out of it. Then with that stripe, I built this. It's basically just like an arrow. I tried to find the middle point of the arrow. I, I cut like with, with the scissors. You can, you can cut this easily with the, with the scissors, you see. It's, it's quite easy. So, what I did was, I cut this arrow, then I didn't even draw a line, but you could draw a line here and try to find more or less the center. Once you find the center, I put it upon my desk and with my, oh, you also need one of these. With my screwdriver, I just put it in the middle and tapped it to kind of make like this, this tiny little hole you see there. Because that's where it's gonna sit. And I've tried to make that hole more or less in the middle of the thing so that all weight going to the back and to the front and to each side is the same. So you could simply draw across, draw across two lines crossed, and tap the middle and then cut it same length to all sides to make sure it is uh, balanced. Then just in the exact point of the where you've tapped it with a screwdriver, just bend it a little bit like like this. Can can you see how this one is bent? Just in a slight angle, not too much. Okay. Once you got that, all right. Once you got that, other thing I did. I cut this piece of foam square. All sides are exactly the same. After I had that, I just picked up my ruler, corner to the opposite corner, and I I made these lines that cross. And I had like I can show you on this side. I can do the same just to show you. So you're gonna put it from side to side and you're gonna draw a line then you're gonna go to two opposite corners and you're gonna draw another line and right now you just found the middle point once you got the middle point you're gonna pick this one up 
you're gonna set it on the middle point like so and you're gonna measure here 45 degrees and then on the other side you're gonna do the same you're gonna put it here right in the middle hole and you're gonna measure 45 degrees okay once you got 45 degrees or 145 if you come if you come the other way around you're simply gonna put from that tiny little mark you made at 45 degrees to the middle point and you're gonna draw the other two lines and uh, there you go and right now you got your six lines that's what I did on this side I already had done when I started okay once you got it done like this you're gonna pick up the barbecue skewer cut a little bit of, of that small and you want to make sure this is wood so that the magnet on the pointer does not attract don't use metal for this this has to be wood only metal part I'm gonna use is this so that's why this is foam and this is wood and only the pointer will be metal so once once I did that I got this little little piece of barbecue skewer and I made the point two, two edges as sharp as I could see very 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 sharp and right now if I got this center punch I got here if I put it on the tip of this see it holds the thing in place can you see it okay so now I got that I'm gonna go here just just gonna draw my I'm just gonna draw my N for north so north is this side this is north down here is south on this side it's east and this side is west okay so the way I'm sitting I'm, I'm steering that way so with my face pointing that way so let's imagine that I got this close to my belly south is touching my belly north is pointing away from my belly so north south east west so this makes this side here north east northeast this side here north west this side down here south east and this side south west okay I got everything written north south east west northeast southeast southwest north west okay now I'm gonna pick my barbecue skewer and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to show you closer to show you guys closer exactly in the middle I'm gonna stick it and I'm gonna make sure that it stays uh, straight once it's straight we're almost done I'm gonna pick up my magnet in your case your magnet in my case my magnetizer I got a, a demagnetizer side and a magnetizer side if you don't if you don't have it just use a magnet a regular magnet and I'm gonna magnetize the side which I want to be the point of the arrow so I'm gonna magnetize it magnetize it good 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 and Magnetize it very good. 
once I got it completely magnetized just sit it upon the thing exactly on the tip and let it go and wait for it to stop but I guess it's working I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you it's working because right now okay right now if I have my belly next to the south and my face looking there that means I'm turned east so if I wanted to be turned north I would do it like this and you can see as I rotate the thing right now it points north and if I turn other way around let's say my belly is here on the S I got this next to my belly like this next to my belly my belly is here I'm looking this way so that means I'm facing west and right now I'm facing my belly here my eyes looking my face pointing this way my whole body pointing this way I'm facing south and uh, right now I know that north is like this so I'm gonna keep this here aligned and uh, this way even though if I move it it goes back to the same place let me move it once again see it always points to the right place so right now I know that north is this way so I can pick up my drone let me zoom out let me no out 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 so I can pick up my drone and right now I'm gonna pull this a bit further and I know that like this I'm facing north got it? got this line and that's magnetic north make sure you don't have any metal things around it because that might that actually might interfere with the thing okay anyway that's how you build a compass so I know this is facing north okay now my drone is facing north I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my I have software and make sure it says zero degrees on my compass. And that's how you build a compass, okay?